Continuing our interview with Union University President David Dockery. Of course, one of the exciting things that happened recently was the Women's uh, NAI National Championship. And so, give us a preview. You should actually be answering or asking this question, <laughs> but give us, give us um, your perspective on how this fits into the university's overall mission. Yeah, well, first of all, we want to say congratulations once again to Coach Mark Campbell and the wonderful ladies that make up the Lady Bulldogs here at Union University. They had a terrific season, 37-1. and one. I believe, stumbling just one time in the last game right before uh, the Christmas break against Lee. But uh, throughout 2009, breezed through uh, the conference and then won the conference championship and then uh, put together five great wins in the uh, national tournament when the team came together and rallied and uh, played their best uh, basketball against some very, very fine uh, competition. And so to win three national championships in five years, is that's a pretty stunning accomplishment. And, uh, something for which we're very grateful and we salute Coach Campbell and, and the ladies. It puts uh, Union uh, on the map in different areas. We've got a, a very nice national story from Associated Press, another one from ESPN that was echoed all over the country. Uh, the national telecast was carried live on CSTV and had a huge national audience and so that uh, brought uh, prestige and recognition and notoriety to the university in ways that some of the other things that we do uh, may may not and so it's hard to uh, estimate the significance of that kind of national championship and what it does for the good of the university but certainly coach campbell and those ladies exemplify christ-centered excellence as the core value of who they are representing the university so very well now you're a bit of a sports fan yourself. Uh, how important do you feel that athletics is not just for the community to see what Union can do, but also for the students to have a rallying point? Yeah, I think the uh, students love the athletic programs. You know, they gather in the fall or out of the soccer field, and uh, that that is one group of our students like soccer. Another group likes likes basketball. Another group seems to like the spring sports. There are a few sports fans that go all the way through and follow <laughs> all the teams, but it seems to me that there are different. Uh, students who follow the, the different sports and that gives them an identity and uh, helps create a sense of belonging and connections here at the university and uh, you know I, I'm very proud of all of our sports I think our coaches do a, a great job and, a, and uh, you know the most visible sports are men's and women's basketball and we're in great hands as we move forward with coach David Niven and coach Mark Campbell. Well, academic year 2008-2009 will be wrapping up in about a month. And so give us a preview of the academic year 2009-2010. Tell us about some things yeah. that we might expect. Well, some new programs that will be beginning. We had two new doctoral programs starting in the fall of 2009, a doctor of nursing practice uh, program and a doctor of ministry program in our area of Christian studies, bringing a total of five doctoral programs uh, at the university. We have some terrific new faculty members who are joining us uh, Jennifer uh, Grinka in biology, Ben Mitchell coming as the Graves Chair of Moral uh, Philosophy. We're very excited about that. Steve Holla joining us in the arts uh, area. Uh, we couldn't be more pleased with the quality of new faculty who are coming. And I think one of the things that will be exciting for all the undergraduates is the kickoff of the new honors program. We've had a wonderful honors program in years past, but it's been focused primarily in philosophy and literature, but now the honors program will be distributed all across the university and every discipline will be able to participate in the honors program. We have a new honors director coming and I think the future is bright for the quality of students who will participate in that area. Now when can we expect the launch of this new honors program? Uh, this fall, in the fall of 2009, the new director will be here and uh, the transition will begin from what is now fairly narrowly focused uh, program, a great books program in philosophy and literature, which will continue as a minor uh, for students to be able to choose. And it will transition into this honors community that will uh, be distributed across all the schools and all the majors in the university. We have about 30 seconds left, but give us your perspective as a president of a university, how a television show such as Jackson 24-7 fits into university life and how the university presents itself. Well, I just want to congratulate the two of you and all of your colleagues who have been a part of this exciting venture uh, to bring 24-7 to reality from the dream that uh, Professor Beverly 
I had, sharing it with the administration, sharing it with his colleagues, sharing it with students. I told him that maybe you should try one a week, but he was convinced that you could do a show a day, and I, I just salute you. It's been great. I hear wonderful things from people all across the community who tune in every day, whether they watch it live or watch one of the replays. They're impressed with the quality of our students, and the opportunity for us to tell the union story or to tell a perspective, uh, a union perspective on the news has just been uh, exciting to watch and so I, I'm thankful for each one of you and salute you on this 100th broadcast. Well we thank you so much for joining us and thank you for giving us the opportunity to do these broadcasts. Yeah, thank you. And when we come back on our 100th episode of Jackson 24-7, a man who knows all about and everything about broadcasting in Jackson. He is indeed the face and voice of E Plus TV 6, Steve Bowers, and he'll join us next on Jackson 24-7.